and behavioral adaptations of animals that live in the marsh, and Charlie was just talking about fishes. Can anybody, question up for grabs, if you're still my student, you get, you get a homework pass next year. Can anyone think of, name, a fish that is either catadromous or anadromous, and can you say what those vocabulary words mean? Hi. Anyone want to take a, take a guess? Anyone who was in Karen Popkins' class? Uh, An anadromous fish. Salmon? Salmon! What do they do? Uh, they transfer from salt to fresh water. When an animal transfers, it starts with an M. It's, it's moving. Migration? It's migration. migration. Yeah. All right, Charlie, tell us more. Um, anadromous is when a fish that most normally lives in salt water comes up into rivers and streams to lay their eggs and spawn. And a catadromous fish it does the opposite. They live in fresh water and go out to the ocean to breed. Does anyone know Eli, James, yeah. Cade? The girls are, are pulling a lot of this right now. What do you go, Charlie? Name a fish, or maybe even a really long fish that doesn't look like a fish. That An is eel. Cut An eel. An American eel. You got it. Bonus points. Woo, woo. Do I get a homework class? All right. So those fish come to the river to lay eggs during their, you know, the light, part of their life cycle where they're breeding. But they also use the marsh as a transition zone because the water in the marsh is not salty and not fresh. What is that word? Not salty, not fresh. Brackish. Brackish. What did you say? Brackish. Brackish water. Yeah, brackish water. So the fish hang out in the brackish water in the marsh as they change... I don't know how they do it. I'm running. I can't. You've got to shut it off, Caroline. <laughs>